Welcome to Sports Guy Talking. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am joined by guest A. Troy from the A. Troy Talk Show today to talk about the Warriors returning back to the NBA Finals for the sixth time in the last eight seasons. This Warriors team has continued on its dynasty run, and it, and it has seemed to only get stronger as time goes by. It's only getting stronger. They did it before with the super team. Now they're doing it with a mixture of veteran stars and young, unheralded, unproven guys. Before I say anything else, though, I want to present you guys with the topic question. So here it is. What is your reaction to the Warriors returning to the NBA Finals? It's been a long two years, um, being one of the worst teams in the league for the last two years. And the Warriors are clearly the best team in the NBA right now, putting the Dallas Mavericks to absolute sleep, making Jason Kidd look like Lou Williams out there, man. It was amazing to see Luka Doncic got shut down. The Mavs needed to ask me. The second best team in the Western Conference was actually the Grizzlies this year. But go to state. It's been a long road. We had to develop some players. Um, we're missing two key bench players, Otto Porter and um, Gary Payton the second. But we're getting the job done. Um, the playoffs is all about resiliency and staying healthy. And as long as our major stars don't get injured, we're good to go. Yeah, and I, I see you rocking with that Warriors jersey and that Warriors background. What do I got to say about this series? Incredible series by the Golden State Warriors. Now, did I expect the Warriors to win this series? Yes, I picked the Warriors to go to the finals before the season started. I picked the Warriors to go to the finals before the NBA playoffs started. And to see this Warriors team justify my faith in them when nobody believed in them outside of Warriors fans and myself, to see that belief be justified, man, it feels so freaking great to see and from what i saw with this warriors team you're thinking about a team that has steph curry that has clay thompson now he's getting fully healthy then you got draymond green all right those three guys have been there for basically all the warriors title runs okay and then there's andrew wiggins we're going to talk about him a little bit later on this show and then you got kavon looney grabbing all those rebounds and don't sleep on jordan Poole now Jordan Poole, he can knock down some shots off the bench. He is an incredible six-man off the bench. I'm telling you, this Warriors team, they know how to develop their guys really well. And don't sleep on Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody because they played valuable minutes too for this Golden State Warriors team. And if they get Andre Iguodala back in the finals, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. I mean, it's already a wrap either way. But if Andre Iguodala is coming back in the finals, it's a wrap, dog. And y'all realize that Andre Iguodala is about to be in his seventh finals in his last eight seasons because he did go to the Miami Heat during one of the two years where the Warriors did not go to the NBA finals. And hey, if Andre Iguodala ends up going up against the Heat in the finals, wouldn't that be ironic for sure? So the way I'm seeing this, I'm super hyped up for the Golden State Warriors, and I just want to congratulate them for this team-building process that they've done. Yeah, exactly. And look, you just mentioned nine players that have a pivotal role on this Golden State Warriors team. You can't do that with any other team left in the playoffs. You can't do that with the Celtics. You can't do that with the Heat either. There's not a team that is as deep as uh, the Golden State Warriors. There's not another team that has as many players that have been in the championship environment. And there definitely isn't another team that's going to beat the Golden State Warriors. Now, I am a Golden State Warriors fan, but the offense that and we actually have an offense where we run plays. I've seen the Celtics have sets where they're just giving Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown the ball and saying, hey, go make us go score two points, go score three points. Go to State Warriors, we don't do that. We have a team atmosphere, and that's why we win championships. And that's why we're going to get another one, man. Four rings for Steph, four of them. Hopefully he gets the finals in the yeah, that's, that's definitely what I'm thinking as well. Yeah, man, when you're looking at the Boston Celtics, you look at the Miami Heat. Literally, the Miami Heat strategy right now, I don't even know what their offensive strategy is. <laughs> what the heck? I don't even know what it is right now because they don't got any offensive identity whatsoever. But I'll say this, though. Even if the Miami Heat were fully healthy, they're not going to beat this Golden State Warriors team. You know why they're not going to beat this fully healthy Golden State Warriors team? Because they don't got the team chemistry that the guys on the Golden State Warriors do. Their offense seems to be or at least when healthy, just give Jimmy Butler the basketball and let him go to work. That seems to be their their plan as far as I'm concerned. And you made a great point about the Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics, their plan is literally, okay, Jalen Brown, make your shots. Jason Tatum, make your shots. 
if neither works, pass to Marcus Smart in the corner for a three or pass to Grant Williams. And look, I'm not trying to discredit these guys on the Celtics. Those guys have been incredible. I think they've overachieved. I think they got a really good coach, Naime Udoka. But let's be honest here. This Boston Celtics team is no match for the Golden State Warriors whatsoever. Because this Golden State Warriors, they can beat you in a number of ways. They can beat you with a number of players. And to be honest with you, this is probably my favorite Warriors title run. This year, I'm being dead serious. Like, when you look at all the runs starting from the 2014 through 15 season, I honestly think that this one is my favorite one just because of the fact that this seems so organic. Nobody can cry super team. Nobody can cry about, oh, you know, this competition is just too easy for the Warriors. They're supposed to win. No, this one feels like a truly earned championship. And it's great to see guys that are just sacrificing the roles and doing for the betterment of the team instead of having a guy like Kevin Durant always be worried about his own legacy. You just got guys that are just having fun playing basketball. That's what the game of basketball, or and really, quite frankly, what the game of sports is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about having fun with your teammates and winning games and doing whatever it takes for the betterment of the team. Legacies be damned. Exactly. Forget about the legacy. If, you, if you're really about the team, your legacy will show. Your legacy will be there. You see what Andre Iguodala is able to do. I mean, what did you say, eight finals in the past nine years? I seven think in the last eight. Seven in the last eight. I think LeBron's the only – but that's different. It's the only people that have been able to do something like that. Um, and Iggy actually has a huge role on the Warriors even when he's not playing. If you watch the games, you see him on the bench. He's coaching the players. He's like the, the sixth – assistant coach out there for the Warriors it's amazing to watch also the other great thing about the Warriors that our coaching staff is our position coach just got a head coaching position to coach the Sacramento Kings and we also got Kitty Atkins who's a finalist for the Lakers position one of the best coaching staffs Steve Kerr one of the best minds in basketball let alone the NBA I mean who else can you name that has been under the toolage of Head coaches that I won at least the Greg Popovich has five. Uh, Phil Jackson has six. Absolutely remarkable. And Steve Kerr learned the game from both of them. It's going to be a great series. And I don't know if it's going to be the Heat or the Celtics as of yet, but whoever it is, it's not going to seven games. Six yeah, eight, it, yeah, it's definitely not going to go seven. At least where I stand right now. I, of course, I could change my opinion by the time that I make my NBA Finals predictions. But as far as I'm concerned, this Golden State Warriors team, I'm going to reveal my pick early. I got the Warriors winning the title, no matter who they're playing against, Heat or Celtics. What the heck? I'm not picking against this Golden State Warriors team. I've never picked against the Golden State Warriors in a playoff series in my lifetime. I'm not going to start doing that now. The way I see it, I like the Warriors' chances of winning this championship. But let me go ahead and ask you this. What was your reaction to Steph Curry winning Western Conference Finals MVP? Absolutely deserved it. Um, he was consistent throughout the uh, Western Conference Finals. The only game where he didn't have under 20 points was the last game, and he had nine assists in this game. Um, absolutely deserved it. He's been the leader. He's the reason why the goal were Stephen Curry. None of this would be possible, and he deserved it, man. Draymond Green didn't. Clay didn't. Jordan Poole didn't. There's nobody else you could name. Stephen Curry deserved it. He's the leader. And hopefully he gets his first finals MVP in the next week or two. Yeah, and I just love the way how Steph Curry is so unreliant on ISO basketball. Instead of complaining, he don't got a team around him or he don't got this, he don't got that. You know what he does? He tries to better his role players, tries to put them in positions to succeed. That's the great thing about Wardell Stephen Curry. All right, yeah, I'm going to say his full name. I'm going to I'm going to go in that route, yeah, but yeah. Steph Curry, he's a great basketball player. If he wins this finals, wins finals MVP, I think we got to definitely put him in the discussion for greatest point guard to ever lace the game of basketball. As far as I'm concerned, Steph Curry, he just knows how to play this game perfectly. And I'm really proud of him for winning Western Conference finals MVP. Look, man, I know I know some haters are going to go out there and say, oh, Steph Curry, he didn't show up in the closeout game. He only scored 15 points. But if you actually watch the game, you saw they put guys in positions to succeed. He didn't try to take double teams and try to shoot over them. No, he just tried to pass to the open guy, try to make the right basketball play. That's what the game of basketball is supposed to be about. It's not supposed to be one-on-five basketball. That's why I always say a guy like Russell Westbrook, 
is an overrated point guard because he don't know how to put guys in better positions to succeed even though he's a point guard that's literally the job of a point guard the job of the point guard is to make others around you better and also get your own buckets too if you're a great player which is exactly what Steph Curry is I couldn't think that the Western Conference Finals could have gone to a more deserving player I know some haters are going to say Steph Curry only scored 15 points but guys it's more about scoring points it's more about being a leader being able to get them assists up being able to get guys wide open shots and sometimes you don't need to have high assist numbers to show that you're passing the ball and moving the basketball effectively because sometimes you could pass it to a guy who could then put himself in a position to make an extra pass to an even more wide open guy shot we all know how that works and also one more thing i want to address about i want to talk about the six finals appearance in the last eight years everybody in this generation wonders about how did it feel for michael jordan and the chicago bulls to make the finals six times in an eight year span well i'm going to tell you this is probably the closest thing to what it's feeling like right now just to see a team be able to dominate with many different pieces one with a super team one where they built through the draft and one where they built through trades and unconventional strategy so they've basically built this thing through three different ways basically if you think about it and just to see the diverse amount of ways that the golden state warriors have built up this team it's beyond impressive. I think people need to be grateful for that. Exactly. And everybody had a chance to get their hands on Draymond Green. Everybody in the league had their hands on Jordan Poole. We were the only team that was able to actually take those players and develop them. Um, it just shows you the culture in Golden State. It shows you every um, ounce of work that these players are actually putting in. And um, I don't think this is it. Unless Jordan Poole leaves... I don't think that this is the end of the dynasty. I think it could definitely continue as a max player, but hopefully he, he, he thinks about maybe his legacy in the team more than his pockets because we could definitely do this again next year. Seriously. Yeah, this team easily could have won 60 to 65 games this year if this team wasn't so injury prone throughout the year. Because Steph Curry got off to a bad start. Objectively speaking, he got off to a bad start at the beginning of this year. And the Golden State Warriors, they were still winning a decent amount of ball games, considering how bad he was playing. When I saw that, that's when I was like, yeah, I, I really like my finals pick. I, I really do. And also, one other thing I want to shout out Andrew Wiggins. I know a lot of people was trashing the Golden State Warriors for that Andrew Wiggins trade. I was trying to tell y'all two years ago that the Golden State Warriors made a fantastic trade with the Minnesota Timberwolves for the Andrew Wiggins deal. I told y'all that Andrew Wiggins was going to play a key role in the resurgence of the Golden State Warriors. That's exactly what he has done. He has played tremendous defense. He's getting his buckets on the offensive end. Yeah, he might not live up to his number one overall pick, Billing. He still won't. But you know what? That doesn't matter because he's playing a key role for those Golden State Warriors warriors on a championship caliber team all right so let me go ahead and wrap this up and ask you this final question now that we've gotten the reactions to the warriors getting back to the nba finals okay so tell me who do you think the warriors are going to play against and how many games are they going to beat that team celtics uh six games we're going to see game six clay come out of nowhere and um it's, it's going to be a pretty early night for him and um to piggyback off what you were saying about andrew wiggins um, i think he definitely showed He's there. He had an all-star uh, campaign. He actually made the all-star as a starter. And he's leading this team on the defensive end alongside Draymond Green. Um, I did see an article in 2019 that said Andrew Wiggins is possibly the worst player in the NBA. And I hope that columnist watches your show and he recognizes that that take was absolutely awful. Yeah, that, that take was dead awful. And Nick Wright, guy from First Things First, if you know who he is, if you remember at the time of the trade, he said Steph Curry would never play in another NBA Finals. What a freaking joke that Nick Wright, Wright guy is. Anyways, though, to answer my own question, I'm not sure who they're going to play against. I do think that I'm actually going to go bold and say that they're going to go play against the Miami Heat in the Finals. I don't think we should count out the Miami Heat yet. Although if it's the Boston Celtics, you know what? I wouldn't be one bit surprised. But no matter who they play, in the NBA Finals, I think the Golden State Warriors is going to win that series in six games, no matter the opponent of who they're going to go up against as far as I'm concerned. But also one other thing I want to note is that the Warriors are going to have home court advantage for the NBA Finals, no matter who they're going to be playing up against. And also remember this as well. The Warriors have won every series in a closeout game on their home floor. So we're going to say that they're going to be winning on the road. But I think that's going to happen anyways, because it's impossible, or at least I would think ideally, or theoretically speaking, it would be impossible to win four straight series at home in the closeout game. But you never know. But anyways, though, I'm going to go with Warriors as of right now, probably in six games over the opponent. 
whoever they're going to go up in the Eastern Conference. You're going to go Warriors over Celtics in six games. All right, so those are basically the reactions that we have for the Golden State Warriors returning back to the NBA Finals for the sixth time in the last eight seasons. All right, Atroy, thanks for being on the show, man. Really appreciate you coming on here. All right, make sure you go ahead and follow his social media and his YouTube channel. He has an Instagram. It's at Atroy Talks. And then his YouTube channel is Atroy Talks Show. All right, so you go ahead and make sure you follow him on Instagram. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. His YouTube channel has been growing more and more as time has gone by. So please go ahead and subscribe to it. That would be greatly appreciated. Most definitely. Uh, please stop by the show. Um, and also, I, I open my show up just like uh, Dustin here. I'm sorry, just like Sports Guy Talking does. And you can join the show. Get out your takes. Get out your opinions. Let me know how you feel. Come chat with your boy Jordan Talks, man. Yeah, for sure. All right. See ya, bro. Have a good one. Yep. Bye. That was Atroyd from the Atroyd Talk Show. All right, so he's a Golden State Warriors fan, and he gave out his reactions for the Warriors returning back to the NBA Finals. I also gave out my reactions as well. We're both pretty ecstatic about it. We both also think that the Warriors will win the NBA Finals against whoever the opponent will be in for the Golden State Warriors. Either way, though, we think it's basically a lot for the Warriors to win the NBA Finals, and we both appreciate the greatness that the Warriors have shown over the number of years of success that they've had. So that is why the Warriors returning to the NBA Finals has been a blessing to see. Hopefully, they go on to win the NBA Finals again for the fourth time in this dynasty run that the Warriors are going on. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking. Like the video and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in a future video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin S. Tran and at Sports Guy Talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin S. Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.